What's good, YouTube? Hitman X. Make sure you hit that like, hit that sub, show your boys some love. Real quick video, man. Uh, apologize for not going live yesterday, but I seen a couple of my brothers on live yesterday. I didn't want to interfere with that time. And plus, I've been focused on my music, man. So I got I found some old, old beats that I made a couple of years back, man. So I will be posting that on my music channel. Uh, I will leave a link to one of the videos that I posted in the description box. So make sure y'all check that out, man. Go subscribe to that channel. Because that's where all my music will go. Uh, free of charge, man. All those beats free of charge. Because they're so old. There's nothing I can really do but post them. You know, I ain't really on the music tip like that. But I'll get those away for free. It ain't nothing. But um, I wanted to speak about Mikael Bridges in the future uh, with the Phoenix Suns going forward. Because... Um, as we, we know, mid-season, uh, Mikael Bridges is having one of his best seasons of his career going into a contract year. Um, he's due for for uh, extension. And um, there's a lot of mixed feelings on whether or not he's a max player or not. Um, I feel like it's a no-brainer, right? But you have some who say he's not a $100 million man. They like to put a price tag on players um, because of, of, of the stats, right? So they look at, okay, how many points you're averaging? How many steals? How many assists? Like, they look at stuff like that as a measuring stick as opposed to impact. Um, if you're just going out to pure eye test and value on the court, right? Yeah, I feel like it's a no-brainer that Mikael Bridges should be in a max contract player. Now, um, to what extent? That's a good question, right? Do we mortgage our future? I don't feel like we – look, I don't feel like the Phoenix Suns are in a position to pay – Mikael Bridges, $150 million like they gave Devin Booker. Now, that's not that's going too much. Now, I will say that. But um, uh, $100 million? Like, if Draymond Green, right, can get $100 million, this is not me downplaying Draymond Green's production or his play on the court. But um, one can say Mikael Bridges' upside is higher than uh, Draymond Green. So, with that in play, you pay him. A four-year, hundred million dollar contract. Now I could very well so see a, a four-year, ninety-five million dollar contract. I feel like that's a steal for Mikael Bridges, right? One of the most important players on our team, especially on the defensive end, right? I feel like Mikael Bridges makes our engine go on the defensive end. It starts with Mikael Bridges, it ends with Mikael Bridges a lot of times, and um, you got to reward him for that, right? The crazy thing about this offseason coming up. Is uh not only is Mikael Bridges up for a contract, but DeAndre Ayton is up for a contract as well, and uh, I can see him in a similar situation, getting around a hundred million dollars a year, right? And I don't feel like that's an overpay at all, right? Plus, we got to make sure we, we retain those draft picks. Like that was a great draft for us to get DeAndre Ayton and Mikael Bridges in the same draft was uh was actually a steal. Let's just be honest, that was an excellent draft for Ryan McDonough. Unfortunately, he made some bad moves that resulted in him getting fired afterwards but um that that had to be an excellent draft one of the best drafts for the Phoenix Suns now with Mikael Bridges I feel like you pay both of them 100 million because you got to look at it like this in two players you'll be getting pretty much a max contract right with Mikael Bridges and, and DeAndre Ayton combined you'll be paying out about 200 million dollars right over four years that's about $50 million more than Devin Booker got for his extension. So it's basically two two for one, right? And you never know. One of these two guys could pan out to be an all-star, and now you have a, a great player under a, a great contract, right? Affordable contract for for the production that I could project them putting up. So like I said, man, Mikael Bridges, as long as he keeps his production up, as well as um, DeAndre Aiden, I could very well see them getting – a cool four four years, a hundred million dollars. That's a very least, and at at the end of the day, that's a steal, right? You pay them that because I feel like they deserve it, and it's an affordable contract that we can we can work with moving forward. When CP3 contract comes off the book, we'll have a little bit of money to play with, and we'll be able to do what we need to do, simple and plain. But uh, yeah, that's all I got though. Hitman next uh, should be going live later on today, man. Don't 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 quote me on that. Yeah, you know I mean, but. Uh, I definitely will be posting on my music channel. So, like I said before, make sure y'all go check that out. Uh, make sure y'all go subscribe to that channel, man. Cause that's if you into music and all that, that's where all that's gonna go. I ain't, I'm gonna try to keep it separate from here, where I keep it sports, to my music channel where I keep it 
pretty much all music. So, like I said, man, hit me next. That's all I got. Hit that comment section. Let me know how you feel about this. I'm out.